Hi, my name is Diana and welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can easily create these three warp text effects with a free app available in Canva that you probably don't know yet. Feel free to check the chapters in the description in case that you want to jump to a specific part of this video. First, let me quickly show you where to find the app and how to use it. On the Canva homepage, go to the panel on the left and click on apps. Right now, this app is featured, so you can simply click on this button. Or you can find it below the new category. Here we have the app, but if you cannot see it on this banner or in the new section, you can simply search for it. Type craft hit enter and this is the app that we are going to use for today's projects simply click on it from here you have two different options you can use the app in an existing design or you can use it in a new design for this project let's go for the new design option and from here you can use the document type that you prefer this app is pretty easy to use and as i already mentioned this one is free to use let me show you what you can do with it you can insert your text in this box. Then you have a drop down from where you can choose a font. Then you have the style section. You can leave it as none. You can make your text unfilled or you can add an outline to it. From here, you can change the color of your text. And finally, you have this little window, which is the place where you are going to modify the shape of your text. Once you're happy with the result, simply click add element to it. If you want to make changes to your shape, you can simply make the changes required and then click update element. If you want to start over again, click reset shape and start shaping your text one more time and then update element. Now let me show you how to recreate this cloud warp text effect. I'm gonna first go to elements and find the shape that I want to have in the design to recreate this cloud effect on my text box. Go to elements and from here search for speech bubble. Filter the search results by clicking on graphics and then select the shape that you prefer. I'm gonna use this one right here. We cannot see the shape at the moment because the background and the shape are both white. So let me change the color of the background and the shape and I'll see you in a second. Now let's add the text. We're gonna open Tidecraft and then we're going to type our text in here. I'm gonna type breathe. From here you you are going to select the font that you prefer. I'm going to go for a font called Giant Buzz. Is this one? I'm not going to add any style, so I'm going to leave it as none. I'm going to change the color and now I'm ready to shape my text. Before I start working on the shape of my text, I'm going to add the element to the design. So I'm adding my text box in here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And now that I can see see my text in the design. I'm gonna start tweaking the shape. Now the idea is to start working on the shape of the text box and we are going to click on the update element button once in a while to see how the shape of our text is interacting with the elements on the design. So I can see that I still have a lot of work on the shape of my text and I can come back to the edit shape window to work on the shape of my text. Clicking update to see how this is looking. I am done shaping my text box. As you can see, it fits the speech bubble much better than before. And when you feel that you are ready to continue with your design, remember to update the element before leaving the app. This design is ready, but let's add an extra touch to it by applying a texture on top. Open elements and search for texture. 
You should see these elements if you are under graphics. You can try the different elements that you see in here and select the one that looks better on your end. I'm gonna go for this one. I'm increasing the size and adding some transparency to it. This one is looking nice, but let me try a similar one. Yeah, I think this one is looking better. This is the element that I have selected. It's pretty similar to the one that I selected first. Let me show you the name of the element that I ended up selecting. Now that you know how to use the app, I think it's time to increase the level of difficulty. We are going to create a donut rub effect and we're going to use two different text boxes to recreate this warp text effect. Let's start by changing the color in the background of this design. So clicking on the background, then background color. And from here, you can add a custom color or you can select any of the default colors. I'm going for a gradient. And now let's start shaping our text boxes. Let's go to Typecraft, type your text, Select your font. I'm gonna go for one that it's called Anton Regular. I'm changing the color of this text and then add element to design. I'm gonna move this text box right here and then let's add a second text box. Now, in order to create a second text box, we need to deselect this text box for us to be able to add a second one. If you don't deselect this one and try to add another text box, you will be updating this element right here. So to deselect the text box, simply click on this gray background area. And now that we have deselected the text box, we can create a new one. So I'm adding my text changing here the font for Anton, changing the color and then add element to design. Now to recreate this donut effect, I'm going to use some shapes to be able to use them as guides. I'm going to bring a circular shape. So I'm pressing the key C on my keyboard and then I'm going to add another one. So another See, I'm going to change the color of this shape right here to white, increasing the size and then adding some transparency. Go to position, layers and then bring this circular shape to the back. If you want, you can also change the color of this smaller circle. We can use white as well, reduce the transparency, not so much so we can see it. And now we are ready to start editing the shape of our text. So I'm bringing this one right here, this one in here. We're going to make sure that these circular shapes are in the middle and in the center of the design. We're going to select one of the circles, go to position, go to arrange and then make sure that middle and center are like this. If they are looking black, click on these two options. I'm going to check the circle in the back and indeed this one is also to middle and center. Now let's add one more guide. Go to file, view settings and click show rulers and guides. I'm going to create a guide by dragging my mouse from the ruler to the middle of the design. Now we're going to use this line right here and these two circles to create our donut shape. Select the first text box and then we're going to start shaping our text to recreate this circular shape on top. You can drag this circle in the middle upwards and then to make the circle more round as you can see right now it has kind of like a triangular shape to make this part a little bit more rounded we're gonna bring this circle to the left and this one to the right remember to update the element to see how this text box is looking on your design let's increase the size of this text box and now how do we create the shape in the middle. We're going to bring the dot in the middle of our text box, the one below. We're going to bring it up. We're going to reduce the size of the length of these two lines right here. And then let's bring these two dots closer 
to the middle of the page. The idea is to create half a circle shape with the bottom of this text box. Let's update the element and see how it is looking. Okay, not that bad. We still have some work to do. We still need to adjust these dots, but I think we are getting closer to the desired result. As you can see, we have a little section of the text box here touching the circle in the middle. So I'm going to bring this section up, clicking update elements, and then I still need to adjust a little bit in here and in here. You can move these dots and also work with these dots, but be careful not to move them too much. Update the element and see how your text box shape is looking on the design. As you can see, the shape of my text box is not entirely perfect, it's not entirely rounded, but I believe it's close enough for this design. If you have more time and you want to continue tweaking this shape, you can do it, but Remember that these circles are there just to guide us. Your text doesn't need to be exactly as the circles. Now I'm going to follow the same process for the second text box. So I'm selecting the second text box and I'm going to start shaping the top part of my text. So I'm going to do it backwards. The part that I need to stretch is this dot at the bottom of the text box. This one needs to have this round shape. Remember to update the element to see what you are doing. Okay, this shape is not bad at all to start with. Now let's continue building up the shape of this text box. We need to recreate this half a circle right here. So we need to recreate it with these dots that we have in here. I'm gonna bring these dots closer to the middle of the design to recreate this half circle shape. And then I need to bring these dots up to recreate this straight line that we have here. Now this one up to recreate the straight line that we see here. Update the element. And now we still have some work to do. So we're gonna stretch the shape of this text box and keep working on it. Pay attention to what is happening on the design after you click update. The S is overlapping this circle, so I know that I need to work on this area. I'm going closer to the S and I'm moving this dot to the left and then I'm going to update the element and double checking on the design to see what else I need to keep adjusting. I am almost done with the shaping of these two text boxes, but I realized I have a typo. Instead of Shavana, I meant Shavasana. But remember that this is pretty easy to fix. We're going to select the text box and then go to text. Instead of Shavana is Shavasana. We're going to update the element. As you can see, this is wonderful because even though I have added a couple of letters more, we still have the shape that we worked really hard to achieve. I think I am finally done with this shaping, so I just need to delete these circles because I just wanted to use them as guide. So these need to go and to delete this guide, go to file, view settings and select one more time, show rulers and guides. I'm going back to page number one. I'm going to take this texture, copy, going back to page number two, and then I'm going to paste it in here. Adjusting the transparency so we can see the texture a little bit more. And there you go. I think we are about to master this warp text effect in Canva. We already know how to create the bubble or the cloud text effect. We already created a donut with our text boxes. But what about creating this wave effect? Let me show you how to do it. I have a photo as a background this time and now we're going to search for some elements that we are going to use as guides again. Go to elements and let's add a circle. Okay, we have our circle right here. Now let's search for a wave shape. Let's go to graphics and from here select one of these shapes. I do recommend that you select 
a shape that doesn't have too many curves to make it easier for you. So I think I'm going for a simple shape like this one and then I'm going to position it on top of my circle. Remember that you can reduce the transparency of the elements if you prefer or you can use them as they are. And let's add two new text boxes. I'm gonna use again the Anton font. You can actually use this drop down to see all of the fonts available in this app. I think they have a lot of options, pretty cool options that you can use. I just want to go for something simple that it's easy to read so I'm going for this font changing the color for a light gray and then add element to design and now let's add the second text box remember to deselect this text box let's click on the background and now that we see the default information on this window we can start adding our new text changing the font, changing the color, and then add element to design. Now let's work on the shaping of these text boxes. The upper section of this text box, we already know how to do it. Remember that in order for us to recreate a circular shape or half a circle shape on a text box, we just need to drag this dot, the middle dot, upwards and then if you want to create a circular shape bring these dots to the laterals remember to keep checking the shape on the design and continue adjusting now for us to be able to recreate this wave effect we need to bring this dot up to create this curve upwards. If you want to create a curve that is pointing down, you need to bring this dot downwards. And like this, we are already creating this wave shape. Update the element and see how this one is looking on the design. This one still needs a little bit of work, but we are getting closer. So we're gonna continue adjusting. We need to bring this section of the text box below. So we need to keep dragging this dot downwards and I'm gonna help myself by bringing this other dot down. We are almost there. Keep dragging this dot downwards and keep adjusting. I think I'm gonna stop shaping this text box because we are pretty pretty close to this result. It is not perfect but we are almost there so I think we can leave it like this and then we are going to start working with the second text box. Clicking on this text box and now I'm gonna start working on this shape. I'm gonna create the shape that is going here below. So dragging the dot in the middle and then adjusting to recreate this half a circle shape. Update element. This is not bad at all. And now let's create this wave. Remember that if you want to create this curve pointing up, we need to bring this dot upwards and then to create this curve downwards bring this dot downwards remember to also use these dots in the corners to continue shaping your text and for this particular wave shape don't be scared to play around with these anchors or these little dots keep updating the element and keep adjusting I think I am done with the shaping of these two text boxes, so I'm gonna delete my guides and this is the final result. And now that we have the three options done, which one do you prefer? If you want to have access to new Canva templates every week, make sure to follow my Canva profile. I'm gonna leave the link in here and also in the description. And if you enjoyed the tips that I gave you today, you are going to love this video right here. I guess this is it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and I guess I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!